Well, according to the, Acad the American Academy of Ophthalmology, by age 80, half of all Americans will suffer from cataracts. This means they'll most likely need surgery, and one clinic says their laser-assisted surgery is making it an easier procedure. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller brings us that story for tonight's Your Health Matters. You don't know that there's something better until you have it done. You don't know what you're missing. Cataracts are a clouding of the islands and they lead to decreased vision. The cataract just blocks everything down. Your color, your what you see, the light, you don't see the light. Jess and his wife Virginia have both received some cataract operations at the Garrett Eye Center, but Virginia's left eye will be receiving a new kind of cataract surgery. I kept pushing it off and pushing it off and so we decided to finally take the plunge and, and it, it's nice to be on the cutting edge of technology. That cutting edge technology is a laser machine that's used in the first steps of cataract removal. There's really stages to cataract surgery. One is the incisions in the cornea. The second is the incisions in the lens of the eye. Incisions which Virginia received in only a few minutes with the laser. After Virginia's laser procedure in here she was wheeled into the next room where she's going to have the cataract removed and receive a premium implant. It's going to let her see near, far and in between and rely less on her eyeglasses. Dr. Garrett has been performing cataract surgeries for 34 years but he says compared with manual incisions the laser machine has no equal. We've done probably 35 to 40,000 cataracts but even with all that experience I, I can't match the accuracy of this machine for the first two parts of the surgery. It just makes those cuts so perfectly uh, no human can match. Virginia and Jess say they're now looking forward to life after successful cataract removal. We're in our 80s, but we still work with kids at camp. We teach ceramics and he teaches water activities. In Iron Mountain, Abby Miller, TV6 News.